Well, it's so Thanks, interesting Anisha. that one of the reasons being cited for the strength that we're seeing in the local unit is dollar inflow as a result of government paper uptake. And I say interesting because we've had over the past week or two, uh, some traders saying that interest rate levels where they stand in Kenya right now isn't really that enticing for the foreign investor. So how plausible is this reason uh, in your books? Um, uh, but when the week began, Alicia, we saw uh, the shilling strengthening as uh, uh, inflows uh, from uh, foreign investors uh, were, being, were coming through. Uh, we, saw, uh, we saw the shilling uh, strengthen to the levels of uh, 76.20, 76.30. Uh, there is a bond that, was, uh, that, that closed yesterday, uh, the, the, a treasury bond, five year, that was reopened. Uh, it was first issued in uh, 2008, uh, 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 in August, the same period. Uh, we have seen a lot of uh, foreigners, in, uh, foreign interest, offshore investors coming heavily to invest in this bond. And I think uh, uh, as, 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 as much as you might say that our interest rates are not as, as attractive and, and, uh, and enticing as they, as they may look, they, we, we still have uh, some very firm interest rates. Well, while there is this debate as far as foreign interest is concerned, there is consensus in terms of the domestic interest the debt market is attracting. Run us through the performance of the most recently launched 365-day at bill uh, that that, that, that uh, T-bill uh, actually performed very, very well. In fact, uh, the market was very excited about the 364-day T-bill. Uh, we saw uh, the, uh, the CBK coming to borrow $8.5 uh, billion through the uh, Treasury bill, and they received uh, $17.17 uh, 17 billion. Uh, in the issue. That, that is a, 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 a performance of 204%. Now, uh, it's, it's, it's good to note that, I mean, uh, a lot of interest also came from offshore, and uh, more, more of it also, a sizable amount was domestic. And uh, this has actually, this now shows a picture of a flight to safety, a flight to safety of most of the investors who have been actually been playing in the, in the stock market. Yep, that has been the theme over the last couple of weeks. In the meantime, we've got many corporate bonds uh, or corporate companies pushing their corporate bond issue, uh, issue plans in the pipeline more aggressively. Barclays has already ventured forth in this regard. What response do you see those corporate bond issues receiving in a climate where government is issuing paper just as aggressively? Uh, it's true, Alicia, that uh, the uh, central bank has been very aggressive. This year they are coming to borrow 109 billion out of the market. They are also equally receiving competition from the corporate bonds who are now moving from the syndicated loan now into the bond market. Uh, this week, just to mention, we are, we are closing a, a Shelter Africa bond, 1 billion uh, three-year bond. And uh, so far, it has received an overwhelming uh, uh, support from the market. Uh, the diversity of investors uh, from the, uh, the, the, that are bringing application tells you that uh, the, the market has gone a notch higher in uh, attracting for, uh, local investors and educating for local investors into the, into the corporate bond. But now, uh, the, 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 the issue is that uh, even though the, the, the central bank is aggressive at uh, at, at borrowing locally, the, 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 the corporate, bo the corporate uh, side of things is also warming up as, as well. On that note, Peter, let's leave it there. Thanks so much for having joined us this morning. That uh, Peter Murigi, fixed income analyst at Diane Blair Investment Bank. Taking a look at uh, the equity segment over in Kenya now, we had the NSE 20 index closing down, close on two points at uh, 3,232 points. Kenal Cobal weighed heavily. Market watchers saying that investors locked horns over the pricing of the oil market's shares yesterday, temporarily halting trade a day after the firm reported a half-year loss attributed to soaring operational costs and volatility in oil prices as well. Just looking at some of what triggered the concern here uh, from Monday's closing price of 57 shillings, investors initially put in buy orders as low as 30 shillings a share, creating a huge mismatch as the sale price remained at 49 shillings 75 for the better part of the morning. A softening of positions in the last hour of trading saw about 10,200 shares traded at 50 shillings 50 each, an 11.4% drop in price from the previous session. Kenal Kobo, though, has recently suffered huge share price fluctuations in the trading sessions immediately following the release of its financial results when uh, the 10% price variation limit is lifted, according to stock exchange trading rules. Remember, it was in April uh, just this year that the CMA suspended the stock's trading for a day after its price fell by 33% to 30 shillings a day after announcing last year's results.
whilst the regulator then lifted the fluctuation limit on the counter in the following trading session to allow for its recovery. Well, to give us more analysis on what's playing out in the markets there, let's cross over back to Nairobi to chat to Samuel Gishohi, investment analyst at Standard Investment Bank. Samuel, thanks so much for joining us this morning. Well, we had Ken Alcoba once again after posting results, uh, causing quite a stir in the market. What's your view on the company and its current valuation? Oh, well, the company is, uh, is suffering from the huge fluctuations in the fuel industry. Um, we saw, um, like Kenya Airways also had issues because of the fuel um, petrol prices. They've been up and down and all over the place. And I think this has been affecting that, in that sector in general. Well, do you see the CMA once again lifting its trading limit on the counter today to allow for some measure of possible recovery to filter through? Or was trade on the counter halted yesterday before uh, things went too far this time round? Well, uh, not necessarily. Last time it was uh, because of a mistake. Somebody had made a trade that uh, was not supposed to happen. Uh, but uh, this time I think it's... It's about the, f the results, and uh, investors are definitely worried. But um, I, I don't think they would they would have to they would do that at the moment. I believe uh, it's better to just let it play out on its own. Well, Samuel, we've got results uh, trickling in hard and fast here. We've got Kenya's cooperative bank out with numbers this morning, uh, posting a profit pre-tax profit up 16% for the first half of this year. What have you made of those numbers? Well, Cooperative Bank are uh, actually doing quite quite well, uh, given the circumstances. I think uh, after the IPO, they've shown uh, quite a lot of impetus for expansion. We've seen that they've even launched a new product now, which is uh, they're going into the mortgage market and seeing how the, uh, the, how the, the, the construction market and the real estate market is doing right now. It is a good way to go. Um, they did show a lot of... Uh, a, a lot of uh, new things in, the, in the, or a lot of things that they highlighted in their briefing. Uh, some of which are, are the, the fact that the corporate banking uh, sector is doing very well, not even better than what the, the cooperative part is doing. And I think they're doing well going forward towards, towards the end of the year. What's interesting is that yet again we've got one of the reasons uh, for uh, growth in, this, in their profits being attributed to the fact that they've seen increased revenue on its loan book. Uh, the way its loan book stands now, is this a concern for you at this stage of the game where we've got non-performing loans still posing threat as we move forward? Well, on non-performing loans, I think uh, the people with the biggest problems at the moment are Equity, KCB, and uh, Barclays. Um, Cobb Bank at the moment is not showing, their loan book hasn't grown that much. I think it's at three, three point something percent. And so I, I don't see them, and, and they also said they're not very worried about their loan book at the moment, their non-performing loan book at the moment. So I think they're not showing any problems there. They have been quite conservative, although they have, although they've increased their lending, it's not at the levels at, at which we have seen KCB, Equity, and Barclays do mm -hmm. over the first half and the last half of the last year. 